All right, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do this wireform effect into animating a building onto a scene. You can download the Blender file, start Blender file, um, by the link in the description. And you'll start out with a collection of all of the exterior of the building all together, and then an object that is just the interior, the floors and the support columns. So what we want to do first is make the interior into this bright blue wireframe that looks like a blueprint. So what we want to do is apply a wireform modifier to the interior object. A wireframe down here at the bottom. You want to zoom in, you can see, and then you just want to increase the thickness a little bit. And this isn't a specific amount, you can just do whatever looks right, and you can just adjust it later. Now you want to change the material of this wire form, because right now it is just nothing, and you want to add a new material. I like to make it an emission, so that way it's like a bright blue light. And make it blue. Let me turn off the strength. And now we can start working on how we make it appear. And what we need to do that is we need to make a boolean. And for the boolean you just want a cube that takes up the space of the entire building. And it doesn't have to be that exact, just make sure that it encompasses the entirety of the building. I'll just go into edit mode, grab the bottom face, and scale that down. There we go. Now we want to make the cube an x-ray. So we go to object properties while selecting the cube. Actually just to make this clear I will name this bool because we'll use that for the boolean. Go to Object Properties, and I have to make it X-Ray. I'll go to Object Properties, Viewport Display, then change to Wire. So that way only this object will be in Wire mode, while the rest stays in Viewport Shading mode. Now we can start setting up our Booleans. So first, I know I'm going to need two Booleans, so I will just copy this one. So that will be the second one I'll use. This first one I'll use to make the blueprint form appear. So I will go to the interior, which is now the wireframe, and then go to modifiers. I'll just apply this, uh, actually no, I'll leave this. If you know you don't want to change the thickness, you can just apply it, but it's good to keep that modifier there while you aren't sure how big you want it to be. And now we want to add a new modifier called a boolean. And in my experience, you want to change it to fast instead of exact. You think exact would be better. It sounds better because you don't need to necessarily do it fast. You want to do it correct. But doing exact comes up with this weird Boolean error sometimes where what you should be seeing from the Boolean is it cuts away some of the building. But sometimes when you get to a certain point where usually where like faces overlap completely, it it ends up with a boolean where it goes around the entirety of the border of the boolean object you have, and that's how you end up with this weird cube on top of the building when it should just look like this. It should be just a slice of what is outside of the boolean. So that's why I do fast instead of exact. And then all we need to do to make this disappear inside the boolean is to select as the object and you can either type it in, find it on the list, or use the eyedropper and just click boolean and now it's gone. So now you can see as you move it up it appears. So what you want to do is you can press I to do insert keyframe of just a location move forward a bit, 
take two seconds in, move it up to the top where it's completely revealed, I, location, and that way it moves on its own and reveals the, the wireframe. Now what we want to do is have the building appear. So to do that, I will show the first, the second Boolean again. And now what I'll want this to do is have this set up so it'll then make the interior disappear as it goes up. So I will pretty much do the same thing. All you do is add another Boolean, change the fast. Nope, no, I did. Wrong thing, I did a Boolean on the cube instead of on the wireframe. So I'll add another Boolean onto the wireframe ob object. Add that. And then this time, instead of difference, instead of difference, I'll do intersect. So now, when this one moves up, it disappears with it. I will keyframe this, that way it's a little bit delayed, and it'll disappear. Now, the key part is to now make the building appear as the wireframe is being removed. So to do that, I will let this be visible again. I will select that entire collection and I'll just select one of the objects so that way one of them is the actual active one if it has the green outline as opposed to the blue. And then I'll add a Boolean modifier, go to fast, and then select the second Boolean. And now as you can see, it only took away that one main object. It didn't apply this modifier to all of the objects that I have selected. And it's very tedious if you would have to go through each of these individually because the building is a lot of objects. But thankfully all you need to do is do Control L and this will make a link. It's really just copying over some other info from this one object from this one object to the other objects that you have selected. And what I want to copy is, a mo is the boolean so that's why I want to copy the modifiers. And there you go. Now all of these objects are now set up with the exact same modifier of the boolean. And there you go, it is all set up. There's your nice fancy but surprisingly simple to set up building animation. Thanks for watching.